Let's talk about a few of the different editors that are possible. There are many different editors that you can work with. Like I said, you can work with Notepad or a text editor, plain text editor. It's up to you. A lot of the changes that you're going to be tracking, a lot of the errors and things like that, you can view right in a browser. So that's going to be very, very easy and handy for you to be able to correct your errors. Now, that may be the classic way of doing things. We know HTML started out with a lot of Notepad use. Well, those people who stuck with Notepad in the beginning were really happy when Dreamweaver came along, and it really made things so much easier. But that Notepad experience really went a long way because you formatted your HTML very, very nicely. Well, for these examples, I do use Dreamweaver quite a lot. I think it's very, very easy to actually put things together. I think it's exciting to be able to demonstrate this within this environment with this really nice code formatting. Really, you can get that with any text editor. It's really up to you. You can work with this like a web site. As you can see, we have this right here within our site, and we can navigate to each example. And you can do this as well if you want to work with Dreamweaver. If you don't have Dreamweaver, you can use any editor that you want to. We'll look at a couple other ones here. And I do recommend if you want to try Dreamweaver, you could try the trial. It's not difficult to just go and download the trial from Macromedia. Then you get the what you see is what you get design view or split view with code and design. And you can see that this looks very, very close to what our example is. As you can see here for a similar example. And it allows you to really place things nicely and get things started. But really the reason why I am definitely using it here is because of the level of PHP that we're using for those really deep object-oriented type work and type needs that you might need for advanced PHP, then you might want to consider another editor. But for this and these examples, I think it's really great to be able to see things with Dreamweaver. But that being said, there are others. We have the Komodo from Active State. As you can see, this is PHP, but it's parsed into this nice little tree, which is separating this particular class and the PHP script itself into a different or a clickable set of functions that you see here. And it works more like a traditional programming language and IDE. And you can actually collapse the functions, which is really cool to be able to do that. When you have a lot of code, this is something that you might find interesting. And it has a lot better debugging. You can see that we can actually play the scripts and debug them with ease. But it's one way of doing it. It's, this is not an expensive version. There are other versions as well. This is PHP Designer 2005. You might want to check this out. You can see that from the About box. You can see that we're here at the mpsoftware.dk, and it's actually free at this point. Donations are accepted, and it allows you to actually go through and create different things, like SQL statements and CSS and HTML, and there is even a preview for localhost. Depends on how you have things set up. It may not be to the level that you're expecting with the Dreamweaver, for example, but the price is right with this particular example, and you might want to try it out. And then we have Zend, the Zend development environment. This is the 4.0 version of this, and it's quite powerful. It has a lot of debugging abilities here, as you can see. You can navigate and inspect not only your file to see what is included or other aspects of the file, but you can actually add different PHP parts of the language with these different functions and things like that right into your script and it's very very easy to do that now you want to support the code hinting so you want to pick an editor that supports code hinting dreamweaver is definitely something that's going to support the php code hinting so do give it a try but zend actually is famous for actually putting php together and they offer a lot of different tools from their website so you want to check that out but these are the big four that you can work with and like I said, we'll be working a lot with Dreamweaver, but you may find something more robust if you want to do more programming type things. You might find it better to use the other environments. Zend is quite an excellent, and it's a very, very established and often chosen editor for working with PHP.